All right, last video of the night review. Rent or buy arms. Is it worth your time and money? First and foremost, don't go crazy over the Joy-Con controls. It is not the best way to play this. If you really want to have fun and finish throughout the Championship, Grand Prix, and a bunch of other game modes you have in here, you got to go with the Nintendo Pro Controller for sure. Don't play with the Joy-Cons. The motion for me! Maybe you're an ace at playing with the Joy-Cons, but playing with the Joy-Cons makes me, like, I would definitely lower the critics on this because the controls on this are so tight and it provides you for some better gameplay because playing with the motion sensor, it's fun with friends. Four of you standing up, punching in the air, yes. And with, it must be epic, but on your own, enjoying the game for yourself, if you want to be competitive and go higher in the game. I dare you to do the one on 100 mode with Joy-Cons, trying to finish it. It's probably one one of the hardest I, 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 I played through. There's a bunch of different game modes. Gameplay is quite unique. It is quite fresh. It's quite new. You can't bash on this game this much. I don't know what people are complaining about. Maybe they think it's too hard because you could upgrade the levels of toughness until six or five, I think. I went up to three and it's already tough for me. I want to, every time I succeed a level of toughness, I always try to rebate the game and go in harder mode. But you have the team fight mode also, playing co-op, local with a friend. I play with my son, like two of us against two CPUs. You could do the whole story mode, two co-op, team fight, which is epic also. It's really fun, but the solo is Grand Prix on your own. You gotta find, also the key is you gotta find your main characters. Mine is Kid Cobra, is my favorite, the fastest. And it's just, it's just so epic and I can't play with anybody else. But I gotta find other characters. Cause as you go along, as you progresses, whatever team or uh, team fight, there's a V-ball mode. V-ball is like playing volleyball and there's a net in the middle and you gotta punch the ball on the other side. It's really cool, really fun. Also in party mode at home, it's epic just playing on your own also. Uh, you, wherever the ball falls, the other guy dies. That's pretty much it. You got hoops. Hoops is basically just a grappling game. You have to grapple the opponent and dunk him in, you know, a basketball net. So off a game of 10 points. You also have the skill shots. Skill shots is two characters facing each other with plates popping up and you gotta hit the most plates to get the more points, but a uh, little tip there, trying to grab your opponent, slam him, and then break the plates, and you'll have way more points uh, faster. There's also a training, training mode. Uh, you think this game could really be basic with the moves and everything, but it gets over challenging. Once you understand all the move signatures and different things you can do, the way you can block, the, co the way you can block and fight back there's a bunch of different cool moves for the characters but most likely what I, I, I that there's a one uh, one versus a hundred which is really tough you get to this big boss at the end he's got like six six or seven arms I don't remember but uh, he's hard to beat make sure you got a full energy bar until the end but honestly uh, plus you have the main mode you got those six different game modes plus you have the main mode which is Grand Prix you can pick whatever characters and uh, go until the boss fight the big big brass is the final boss he's kinda easy thus far but I only played until level three what I want to point out is it's called arms for more for one reason yes they have stretchable arms and everything and all of them have different signature moves and different uh, power up super move and those power up super move were super epic some of them uh, heal themselves uh, mummy mummy monster monster mummy or whatever his name is he regens which is kind of cheating but anyways cool character also but yeah everybody's got their signature moves you boost them up you use those super boosted attacks some of them have better moves it's really a weapon of choice to pick your character it makes for a very uh, you got to think who you pick before and who fits 
your gameplay style. It is very fresh, very, very awesome, very original battle mode. Is it hard to do a new original battle mode? But Nintendo brought it with this. A different way to fight uh, than we... I, I could see this go further away in franchises and everything. Just like Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat or whatever and Tekken. It's just... I hope they make more. They make more and add more characters in here. But mainly, Kid Cobra is my main. What I want to point out too is when you do any different modes, you collect those coins. And then, like I was explaining, it's arms, but arms also. You could equip a different arm, a different power up, a different glove. Like I have my favorites. It's Hydra. When I use with King Cobra, when he punches, it punches. Three other punches on each arm, so it makes me six punches on uh, both different arms. But you can equip any, any different gloves. Like one of each, you don't have to have the same ones. But like I was going to, the point is... Sorry, I'm very, very tired. It's been a busy week. Is you can collect the points in there throughout the games and different game modes and then this is the fun part is where you can unlock different gloves for your characters different power-ups which makes you better for each character there's probably I don't know 20 different sets of gloves I would say 20 to 25 on each character so there's a lot of stuff to unlock plus those one on 100 arenas. There's a lot of hidden gems in there, secrets, and a lot of replay value to go back and try to do it. Plus the party mode is quite epic locally, and the online mode is also great. So I certify this a buy, not a rent, must own, must buy for any Nintendo Switch owner. It's too much of an original. It's gonna be a classic. People will go back in time 30 years from now and still talk about this game. It feels like a classic Nintendo title. I would be more than happy these guys be added to Smash Brothers and everything else. Fighting! Especially Mario Kart, man. These powers with stretchable arms would be awesome. But an epic roster of characters. A very unique fighting style. Playing the four player battle mode made me think of a good old game, Power Stone, back in the days. But it doesn't play like Power Stone. It just made me kind of think of that when you charge up with the crystals. But awesome, epic game. Good job, Nintendo. I do approve. And I will be playing this a lot more. It's easy to grab just to do the championship. You could go for a quick game. You don't have to sit there for hours. Very enjoyable. Must own, must buy. And that's about it. I'm going off to bed. It's probably going to be the last video of this week, man. I'm done. Love you all. See you soon.